complete without the pasalubong of peanut kisses. Today I'm going to show you my version of Bohol's peanut kisses. Here are the ingredients. 3 cups of roasted peanuts. 1 half cup of egg whites. 1 half teaspoon cream of tartar. 3 fourths cup of sugar. 2 tablespoons of cornstarch. For the peanut kisses, we need to roast the peanuts. You roast this in the oven about 300 to 320 degrees for about uh, 30 minutes. And then make sure you stir every 10 minutes. Here, after we have roasted the peanuts, make sure you cool it down before you grind this because if you grind this while this is hot, the oil will come out. So, we need about 3 cups. You grind it depending on how fine you want your peanuts to be. The smaller the bits, the softer it is to the bite. Alright. This size is good for me. If you want it a little bit bigger, then you can stop uh, grinding it after a few pulses. Anytime you use a food processor, even if it has a 4 cup capacity, you only put like one third. Don't fill it. Because you'll have difficulty uh, grinding it. I have a few big pieces. Alright. This is the last. By the way, uh, three cups is about one half kilo, more or less. Don't forget after you toast it, make sure it has cooled down before you start to grind it. Correct. Right, let me see. I have a few big pieces here which I want to put back because I don't want them big. I want them, uh, I would say, fine. As I, as I said, it depends on you. But don't make them also powdery, okay? Because you won't be able to feel the peanuts when you eat it. All right, let's start. So this is half a kilo or about three cups, okay? After you crush the peanuts, you add in cornstarch. The purpose of the cornstarch is to hold the oil in so that the uh, egg whites do not become very watery. Then let's beat the egg whites. I have here egg whites, cream of tartar. If you don't have cream of tartar, a little lemon juice or vinegar will do. Low to medium until it starts to froth once it's frothy the egg whites you add in the sugar and you beat at medium speed until it's medium stiff the egg whites are ready let's see this is medium stiff when it bends a bit. All right. First, we're going to fold in one third of the nut mixture. Just one third. Then, this is the third addition of the nuts. You add it in three additions. And you fold it in carefully because you don't want the oil of the nuts to come out. Because once the oil comes out, 
then the egg whites will deflate. That's why we put a little cornstarch to hold in the oil. So if you're working alone and don't make double the recipe because you might not have enough time to pipe it before it starts to water. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. This is how the mixture should look like. It shouldn't be watery. This is a pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, you can just get a plastic uh, a zipper bag and then you just cut the end if you don't have a tip but I have a tip here so I'm using it but if you don't have it just cut the tip of the plastic and do not overfold once you've mixed the nuts it's enough because our concern here is the more you handle the meringue the faster the egg whites will collapse All right so you make like kisses the size is up to you if you want to make giant ones it's okay just remember the bigger the pieces the longer it will take to make this one use a bowl scraper to scrape this down All right. and then always twist the back and then we bake it in a slow oven when you make meringues Soft meringues like Brazo de Mercedes, Canonigo, you bake it at a higher temperature like 320. Uh, if you want to make hard meringues like Kisses, like San Srival, or like uh, Silvanas, you bake it at a lower temperature. You bake it around 280 to 300. So they crisp up. To check if they're baked, you take them out of the oven and let it cool for five minutes. If after five minutes, the meringue is still soft, then put it back in the oven. Okay, make this at 280 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. You can bake this about 10 minutes more if you want it browner. I bake this at 280 degrees Fahrenheit.